I just got back from Las Vegas and I am exhausted. But the good thing about leaving town is coming home to a bunch of sneakers. And before I show you guys 10 of the newest sneakers that I got in my collection, I do wanna show you guys a quick flashback to when I was in Vegas and I got to check out one of the newest sneaker stores on the Strip. What is going on Dream Crew family? Welcome back to the Crew Summer Vlog Series. Today we are in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. The newest hotel on the Strip, Resort World. They literally just opened up this weekend. The homies over at Sneaker Garden, they have a store in this hotel. It's literally right there. We're pulling up to their shop. We're gonna see what shoes they have. We're definitely gonna be copping some stuff. So let's go check out Sneaker Garden and uh, buy some shoes. Call it what you want. My dog hit my line, I hit him back like what you on. I'm like, ooh. All right, guys, so we are outside of the sneaker garden right here. We're gonna pull up, see what they have. Just based on what I see from the outside of the store, it's a beautiful store inside. So we're gonna check it out, see what they got. Let's go in. Music just to see. Blow up. Every year to pass, I feel the pressure as I grow up. Way more pressure on me now than ever, but I'm so stuck. Started chasing money, got a bit of night. Load up. All right, so over here, they got a bunch of nothing too crazy. You know, the average person who's coming into a casino isn't really a sneaker head. Maybe they're still looking for a pair of shoes so they could grab a pair of, you know, some Air Maxes. You know, if they want to be a hype beast, some Supreme Air Maxes. This is a pretty interesting shoe. I haven't seen these in person, but like literally it's like translucent. So you can see your toes if you wear these without socks. 5,000 thumbs up and I'll take a fit pic wearing these without my socks on. We don't wanna see your crusty toes. Hey, you know what I'm saying? If you want some Air Force Ones, they got some Supreme Air Force Ones. I need the Wheat Air Force One Supremes that are coming out. Moving on over here, hottest shoe in the game right now, the Nike Dunk. You guys, come on. I'm not really I'm not a Nike, Nike Dunk guy. guy. But I have so many white and gray sneakers that it wouldn't make sense for me to buy these, but this is a good quality Dunk as well. I like the, it's like Furry. Yeah, it's like furry suede leather and then for some reason they did canvas on the inner panel Which is like weird because they did leather on this side for anybody who's wondering if they should get the lows or the highs of the Neutral gray ones. I suggest the lows because they're more comfortable. This shoe is very stiff It's the 85 version the leather like the toe pokes up. I wasn't a big fan of it I I wanted these I was so hyped on these then when they came out and I had them I was just disappointed and the overall experience of the shoe but of course you know what I'm saying if you have a sneaker store you need a Jordan 1 wall and this is the Jordan 1 wall a variety of Jordan 1's a little bit more of the hype ones in the middle of the store damn it's crazy how this shoe just came out like a little over a year ago but it already looks like it's like three four years old it's yellowing right here on the cage but I had these two topas this is one of my Hopes. Two names these days are getting too crazy. Let's just call these the Broke Man Travises. These are fire. I love these. Already got a pair, so I don't need these. I did want the new white and blue Jordan 3s that just came out because it kind of resembles like the Fragment 3 Friends and Family, but they don't have those yet. Travis Scott's, Unions, more Unions. This might be the thumbnail right here. Make it look like I just bought three of the most hyped Jordan ones. I still got these. These are like two of my favorite sneakers in my collection. So, and the bro, I'm telling you, the prices here are not that bad. This right here, this might be a cop. I wish and they had my size. I know y'all gonna call me a hype beast for wanting to get these, but I got the new colorways, and it made me, cause those new colorways, I wasn't really a fan of it. It made me appreciate the OG for Union colorways. So I might get these today, cause these are a size 10, and they are in my price range for today's uh, cash out challenge, or we're not even doing a challenge, but you know, just for the shopping experience, it's size in your, 10. Under your budget. Under my budget, yeah, going for about 900. So maybe, you know what I'm saying? We might have won big this weekend in Vegas, so we might have to leave with some heat. Oh, uh, actually, I didn't gamble at all, but. <laughs> I hold on to this, you know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody else is gonna buy it, but we're gonna leave it there for now. Get your foam runner game up. If you don't have a pair of foam runners, join the club. Or if you're a Yeezy Slide type of guy, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to gardening, or if you're going on a target run, or if you're going to a, on a date, Yeezy Slides can do the job. I, I don't be, know about a date. <laughs> I should be an Yeezy salesman. That's like an airport shoe. Yeah, I saw those. These are hella cute. Me and I think it's time that we oh finally God. put these to use. We have a lot of infant shoes, but no infant, so Mina. What happens in Vegas? My favorite part. You know, there's a lot of female sneakerheads these days, and they gotta get their own section when they pull up to the store. So they got. This is a nice big section. A nice big section. It's very rare for sneaker stores to have like a dedicated section for the female sneakerhead. If you're a guy, you can't be walking around with some fresh shoes, and your girl's walking around with some beat up Air Force Ones. You gotta get her some Dunks, at least a fresh pair of Air Force Ones, or some Jordan Ones, Jordan Fours. 
take care of your girl, man. She represents you. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna go with the Guava Force today, man. I, I gotta leave with something. It's, they just opened. Gotta leave with a pair of shoes, maybe some clothing, and, and that Guava Four. It's my size. It's calling my name. What do you think? I think it's not a bad pickup. Trip to ATL, I hit the mall to hand out cards. Mm, dreams are doing numbers at the garden. But yo, I'm getting this babe tea right here. Classic camo, can't go wrong. Mina's getting the Tom and Jerry joint. I of love this. Of course, mine is more fire. I think this one's really, really dope. The big banger for today's video, Union 4s. We're leaving with these bad boys right here. Nice little pickup. Overall, great store, man. Great experience, great location. Definitely, if you're in Vegas, you gotta pull up and check out the shop because it's, uh, it's different than what I've seen in the they past. They just have so. something for everyone. Like, yeah. whether you're into like GRs, mids, Jordan 1s, Yeezys, like they just have everything that, here. So, so, it's like yeah, a man. one stop shop. We're gonna grab all these and then that will wrap up our, uh, our shopping for today. All right, guys, so now it is time to break down all the shoes that I got. Some of them were purchased, and also some of them were sent to me by companies. Obviously, let's start out with the shoes that I got from the Sneaker Garden, and that is the Union Jordan 4. Like most people, I was not the biggest fan of this shoe when we first saw images, but also like most people, they grew on me. Definitely a controversial shoe. It's not the most popular version of the Jordan 4, and it's honestly not really my favorite version of the Jordan 4 if we're talking collabs, but it's still a clean colorway. This is also a shoe that I'm just gonna kind of hold on to and see how I'm feeling about them in a few months. I don't plan to wear these right now. I really like the price that they had them at. It was my size. I was like, we're in Vegas, why not? So I decided to pick these up. Guava, off-white. Did I keep saying off-white, bro? The Union Air Jordan 4s. I recently also got early access to the other colorways. I might as well bring those too. So I got lucky on Sneakers app and they gave me access to purchase Desert Moss, I believe they're called. This one's really... I don't wanna hate on it because I, I, I like Union, I like what they did with the ones, but this one is just not it for me. Out of these two, this one definitely wins. Yeah, anyway, shout out to Sneaker Garden, great store, check them out. I'll leave the links down below for their Instagram and whatnot. If you're in Vegas, and check out Sneaker Garden in Resort World because it's a dope store, man. I definitely, definitely had a great time in there. And yeah, first pickup of the video, the Guava. Union, Union, not Off-White, Air Jordan 4s. We'll go through these ones right here. So in Vegas, I also wanted to pick up a new pair of designer sneakers because it's been a few years. I've had my eye on a pair of these LV shoes that Virgil designed and I finally decided to pull the trigger. I'm not even sure what these are really called, but they're these ones right here. I'm a big fan of this silhouette. And like I mentioned, I've been wanting a pair of these for a long time and I never got one. So this colorway right here, in my opinion, is probably the best one to pull the trigger on because it's just a simple black and white colorway. It's got the LV print throughout the shoe and it's got some suede right here on the upper and these ones are kind of pricey. They were about $1,200. That's expected when it comes to a designer sneaker. This definitely has some inspirations from some of our favorite silhouettes in the game from Jordan 1s to Jordan 3s, especially that bottom. You cannot tell me that that is not inspired by a Jordan 3. And you guys can even see it's got like the little LV designs right there on the midsole. So it's got that like creamy midsole but I really like these added those to the high-end sneaker collection so we're gonna leave those in the corner but locker sent me some vapor maxes I cannot remember what this exact model is called colorway is actually a Ken Griffey jr. inspired colorway with his signature shoe the Griffey Nike Griffey ones I believe I could be wrong with the name honestly I'm not really a baseball guy so I don't know too much about baseball sneakers but I definitely know who Ken Griffey jr. is kind of like these but I don't see myself wearing them that often because I've never really been a hardcore fan of the vapor max I think for some Someone like myself who's a little bit more on the chubby side this shoe just doesn't hold up for me I feel like I'm gonna pop the air bubble because it's just like it's, it's a little too much I do plan to try these out once or twice see how they wear maybe I'll like them because I never have really owned this silhouette of the vapor max we'll give these a try and if they don't work out for me I'll probably just donate them so all right let's keep it pushing of course we got the orange Yeezy slides right here that I got from selection shout out to chow out at selection in Vegas my favorite Favorite colorway so I definitely need like look how bright these are I need to make a dedicated video on Yeezy slides because every color and every version of the slide fits different and I know that sounds weird because that you would think that hey aren't they all the same version but no they've been making them different every single time that they've made them or remade them or come out with the new colorway and these are a size 12 
Guys, these are a size 12 and they fit me like a size nine and a half. So crazy. Like Yeezy, get your consistency right with your with your slides because you guys are probably getting them made in like 30 different factories. All right, so this one right here was a Nike.com purchase. It randomly dropped, J23 app tweeted about it. I decided to pull the trigger. I'm planning to get into golf, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting older. I see a lot of people going, doing, playing golf and I'm like, yo, I want to do that too. It seems like it's a relaxing sport. You can have fun with some friends going playing some golf so I decided to pick up the wolf gray Air Jordan 5 low golf shoes because yeah I, I want to play golf but I never have played like real golf so this is going to be a way to force me to start playing golf and to be honest with you guys this is a good quality shoe like it's 220 retail which makes sense because it is a golf version of the Jordan 5 but just the overall upper is so soft and buttery that it makes me kind of want to soul swap the shoe so that I could wear them casually. All right, more shoes. This is one that I previously showed you guys, but I didn't really get to give you too much of a look at them. This is the P-Rod Nike SB Dunks, AKA the What the P-Rods. He basically had his did his own version of the What the Dunk from the Mexican blanket right here, which is something we've seen on a previous Kobe, which is pretty cool, to like some elephant print, the Mexican flag on the back to go with his heritage and his country. It's got some cool little lace locks on there too, kind of like a championship belt but yeah there's just so much going on with this shoe and I mean, that's the theme. It's the what the theme. That's how it's supposed to be. I did want to add these in the collection. Thanks to Soul Steels for hooking me up with these. Um, it also has a little bit of hints from like a Jordan 13, which is actually something we saw in a previous P-Rod. Definitely a lot of dope things on this shoe. And I wanted to add this to the collection because I feel like this is a shoe that's going to be worth a lot of money in the future. So if the what the dunk original one is a, it's a little preview of what's to come with the resale value of the shoe, then definitely hold on to your pairs because this is gonna be worth a pretty penny. All right, keeping it going, man. This is gonna be a, a little bit of a throwback vibe on a new shoe. Can't remember when's the last time I unboxed a pair of Ultra Boost because it's not 2015 anymore. But there was a pair of Ultra Boost that I saw and what they did with this Ultra Boost just was like, it, it was too much of a like, I needed them. Like it was too much of a throwback to one of the golden eras of the sneaker world a few years ago. And I'm talking about the Nice Kicks NMD tie dyes on an Ultra Boost, 1.0 Ultra Boost. I believe these are the 1.0s. And uh, these were sick. When I saw images of these, I knew I needed them because it was just like, come on, this is like one of the best NMD colorways. And the fact that they did it on a silhouette that I like more, which is the original Ultra Boost is like, I, I had to get them, man. I definitely had to get them. I bought them off of the Nice Kicks website. I thought they were gonna sell out because I thought there was more people who like me who would appreciate this shoe, but they didn't. Like they were just sitting there. It's been a few days so maybe they have sold out since but it was e an easy cop man and I'm kind of happy about that because I didn't have to pay resale and I have to worry about it selling out and I got them comfortably although one grudge I have with this shoe I feel like they did cheap out not nice kicks but like Adidas with the upper because I don't remember the NMD being this cheap of a material this is definitely not prime knit it just kind of feels like a I believe the original one was prime knit and this one just kind of feels like a regular cloth material with some sublimation on it it just doesn't really like, I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up but yeah I'm just that was my only grudge with it but it's still gonna look cool on feet and yeah definitely gonna be rocking these happy with this pickup and uh, this could be like a daily wear for me to be honest with you all right a few more shoes here another pickup I got these off of undefeated's website I woke up like an hour before they came out and this size was sitting on the website so I decided to pull the trigger it is a nine and a half which I I could squeeze into I prefer a size 10 but it's still gonna hopefully work for me and it is the undefeated Air Force one from the dunk first Air Force Force One pack. It's the green colorway and uh, another shoe that I'm not really happy with with the quality because look how these came in the mail. Like the back tab is kind of like ripped up right here. The suede is like ripped up and then whoever put the shoe together just did a really, really crappy job with like there's glue stains everywhere like literally on the shoe and yeah maybe I'm being a crybaby about it but if I'm paying for the shoe and it's coming from a major company like Nike then I expect top quality but unfortunately these days Nike I feel like they just kind of half-ass it and their quality control isn't as good as it used to be because they know people are gonna buy their product products regardless and then last but not least we got two crazy sneakers from the family over at way 
of Wade. So as you guys can see, we got a little message right here from the Way of Wade family. It says, Kais, welcome to Team No Sleep, Way of Wade. So two shoes in here. One of them is in this brown box and then the other one is in this pretty cool foam box and it's got like a, kind of looks like some TV static on the outside of the box. These things are, these things are crazy, dude. Definitely, if you're looking to break some necks on the basketball court, you definitely need a pair of Way of Wades because they always go crazy with their colorways. This shoe right here, from what I've heard and seen reviews on YouTube, these are great, really good basketball shoes. I have yet to test them out. You know, the TV, red, blue, test patterns, and then it's got the different colors here as well as on the little plate that they have there. There's so many dope things. And then look at this like 3D inside that it has with the little time stamp on the back strap like there's so many cool things with this shoe right here that it definitely make oh and look at the inside the inside itself has its own like personality this one right here i have seen some other people unbox this shoe so i know what this is this is the concept version of the way of way nine so this is kind of like a concept car these are like next level <laughs> look at this this is so insane probably one of the craziest shoes i've ever received on my channel where do you start with this shoe like literally where do you even start okay so obviously this is like a super super high top but in reality take out like this toilet paper roll type of thing. In reality, this ankle area is very thin and flimsy and this lacing system is an actual like, like you tie it by just turning these. It has its own like little self lacing type of technology in there. And even the toe area has like this iridescent color changing like whole area right here changes colors as you move it. Two dope sneakers right here by Way of Way. Thank you to them for sending these over and Li Ning, appreciate it. And that's gonna wrap it up for today's video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed all the sneaker pickups. And with all that being said, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Call it what you want. My dog hit my line, I hit him back like what